Item 66. As you know, Council's questions and the responses are now taken as read by reference to the list which has been circulated. You will see that there are 17 written questions from councillors. Question A, Councillor Kitkat, you have had your response from Councillor Theobald to your question. Do you have a supplementary? Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, well, the charges that um, Councillor Theobald refers to in his written response, um, which are, are, are charged for waste receptacles, are charged to the agents and landlords, but these are then passed on to residents, Mr Mayor, through their rent or their management fees. So my supplementary question, Mr Mayor, is can, can Councillor Theobald explain why, while apparently trying to encourage recycling rates, the Council is charging for recycling containers to be provided to residents when the 1990 Environmental Protection Act, Section 46, Part 3, clearly permits the Council to provide these bins free of charge. Councillor Theobald? Well, I do wonder whether Councillor Kitkat is calling for state control of private landlords. Um, but the fact of the matter is, Councillor, <laughs> Councillor Kitkat, the Council does not get involved in charges that landlords or managing agents levy against their residents for a range of services in their building, electricity charges, if there's a lift there, heating charges and such like. So that is a matter uh, for landlords and their managing agents and indeed leaseholders and tenants. Thank you very much indeed. No one's indicated. We go to question B. Councillor Kitkat, your question has been answered by Councillor Theobald. You have a supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, well, I'm slightly concerned by the, the written response that Councillor Theobald has provided, claiming that both types of bins um, available on the street cost the same, because I, um, I have an email here from the Assistant Director for City Clean of the 17th of February saying that the new model bins are more expensive than the old model with a foot pedal. So um, I, I'm, I'm distressed that given the difficulty residents are experiencing with these new model bins and that they apparently are more expensive, um, you know, what his explanation is for that. And I, I would like to invite the Cabinet to come and demonstrate the ease of use of these new bins to a meeting of residents in Regency. Will the Cabinet accept? Councillor Theobald. Do you know, there's far <laughs> there are five questions that I've got tonight from Councillor Kitkat, and that must have followed another five or ten or whatever it was at the last meeting. Now, what I said last time, you know, Councillor Kitkat, we do have an assistant director of city services for City Clean, and I invited you at the last meeting to pick up the telephone and go and meet with her and discuss all these questions with her. She would be delighted to see you. Now, I appreciate that there is a webcam here, and I appreciate that my answers are sent round the world <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. Um, so perhaps that might be the reason why there isn't a camera in, in uh, Gillian Marston's office, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> but could I not suggest that you meet with Gillian on a one-to-one -one take all your questions with you and I'm sure like every other member of this council and I've got nods of heads all around this council when you want an answer a, a professional technical answer you pick up the telephone and you ask Gillian and she will give it rather than you coming here asking me but I suspect councillor Kitkat the reason why the charges are the same and that is my information is because the assistant director has negotiated a better deal thank you Question G, Councillor Kitkat, uh, you've had a response from Councillor Theobald. Um, have you a supplementary? Thank you, Mr Mayor. Given uh, Councillor Theobald's written answer, Mr Mayor, can Councillor Theobald explain why a uh, response to a freedom of information request regarding fire safety and bins from the Council stated, and I quote, we have not been informed by the fire, fire authority that they do not have concerns about the bins. Councillor Theobald? I haven't been informed that they do have. <laughs> Councillor West? Um, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, 
Councillor Theobald would appear to be getting rather frustrated by the um, amount of questions he is fielding. Well, I would just like to ask him if he recognises how frustrated the residents of Central Brighton are about the chaos um, that he is presiding over um, with the um, introduction of these bins and the changes to recycling or refuse collections. Um, Councillor Kitkat is clearly entitled to ask as many questions as he likes. Uh, it is a constitutional right. And as a member of the Cabinet, can I ask Councillor Theobald if he recognises that as he is responsible for this service, it would be useful if he better briefed himself and, and remained calmer when answering questions at Council. I think it's a bit of poetic license there, Councillor West. Councillor Theobald, do you wish to respond? I, I really think that if, if you want to challenge me politically, you know, on a direction, that's fine. But when you come up and ask technical questions, and my frustration, you know, Councillor West, yes, there is a frustration. I don't think it's just mine. I honestly think it goes right across the Council. It's because Councillor Kit Kat could just pick the telephone up and ring um, Gillian Marston, our assistant director, and she would give him the answer, rather than to try and catch me out. Um, so that is my, is my frustration. And I invite any member of this council, if they do have technical questions, then please copy me in by all means. But contact the officer who will be delighted um, to, to speak to you. And Councillor Wes, I do not share your view uh, when you talk about chaos. It is settled in very well. It has been a difficult change. Um, and I'm sure as every month goes by, people will, will recognise the benefits. Thank you.